Prime Minister spoke of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed coming to the airport to receive him with all his brothers when the Prime Minister visited the first time in 2015, the first Indian Prime Minister to do so in 30 years. And the fact that he came once again in 2024, what, does, what do you make of the India-UAE relationship, madam? I think it's a huge, uh, geo it's of huge geopolitical significance. I think Prime Minister Modi, when he became Prime Minister in 2014, recognized the importance of the Gulf for many reasons. First of all, of course, there is a huge Indian diaspora, among the largest Indian diaspora in the world living here. And Prime Minister Modi, as you know, always considers the diaspora as an important bridge, a bridge of friendship and understanding, especially because the diaspora is doing so well in every country where they are living. So he gave a lot of importance. And his first visit, as you said, was after more than three decades. So it was welcomed by the, uh, by the, 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 the I mean, then I mean of, uh, of UAE, and he was welcomed with open arms. But it didn't remain at that. The program that was made, the vision that was brought into the strategic partnership that was developed, the comprehensive economic partnership that was developed. So that was all giving uh, substance to the friendship. It was not just one visit and then left at that. It is now the seventh visit. But in that time, look what has been built up. And yes. look at the trade. UAE is now one of the largest investors in India, 11 billion dollars of investment and they have done only two billion dollars of investment in china so it shows you know how much it is of importance and okay. i think the inauguration of the swaminarayan temple tomorrow is of huge significance as a message sarva dharma sambhav that is all religions are possible i think it's the message which in the leaders of india and ua want to give to their own people let me take this, this to it. dr Awad. dr Awad, what makes the india ua relationship so special, so strong. What's the appreciation in West Asia, sir? Thank you, Gaurav. I think it is the personal touch of the pragmatism and realism on the Indian foreign policy have seen during the uh, Prime Minister Modi's uh, tenure that we have seen this sort of development in the relation with all the GCC countries taking apart uh, the UAE, which has a special cordial relation because of the personal relation between the two top leaders. And I think that's a message that the prime minister has been able to convey not only to the Indian diaspora, which there are around 8 million are stating, staying in the Gulf country, but also to the rest of the Indian diaspora that it is matter every Indian for the, uh, the prime minister matter. So this kind of fostering relation with the UAE, and it's a multifaceted relation, Gaurav. It is economical, it is a, a cultural, it is a social, it is a political, it has all the faces of it. And I think it is uh, with the times to come, it, this cultural dimension, it will continue to grow stronger with the time. Okay. Dr. Ningthang Jam, Prime Minister repeatedly referred to MBZ as my brother. We have 3.5 million Indians living and working in the UAE. How do you view the comprehensive strategic partnership and its impact? And this personal equation between the Prime Minister and MBZ. Thank you, Gaurav, for having me on the show this night. Uh, now, if we look at the contemporary international world order, there is a great display or a very discernible display of uh, you know, personal diplomacy going on between different uh, leaders in different parts of the world, not only between India and the UAE, but rightly pointed out by, the, uh, by other panelists that there is a great display of personal bond homie between the two leadership and that has played a very important role in bringing together the two countries uh, closer than ever before. If we look at the trajectory of India's foreign policy vis-a-vis -vis West Asia, uh, you know, I think this is considered to be one of the most successful stories uh, the Indian foreign policy has ever had. And in that, if we look at the bilateral ties between India and the UAE, we can put them in the pedestal. Uh, you know, the fact that we have already signed a comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries also speaks a volume about the coming of or the maturation of the ties between the two countries. No longer the relations are determined by the, uh, the volume of the oil and the energy trade or the imports that we get from these countries. But also, uh, we have added many dimensions to the relationship and what we have seen uh, and what we have heard in the Prime Minister's speech just a while back speaks a lot about the the transformation in the relationship so he okay. has spoken up a lot about the cultural uh, uh, you know ties between the two countries which is very important and at the same time we are also taking the ties to a further level by increasingly uh, focusing on the educational sector to me which is yes. very important 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm coming to that in just a moment. IIT Delhi with a campus in Abu Dhabi. Central Board of Secondary Education setting up a base in Abu Dhabi. That's extremely significant. Ambassador Sikri, there appears to be a special bond between the leaders. Prime Minister Narendra Modi specifically referred to his request to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan for the temple. And he said that, I was told, you just put your finger on the map and that area is yours. This would indicate some very special relationship. This, this in your appreciation, ma'am, what message does this send to the region and perhaps across the world? Uh, you know, I think the bonding is very important. Uh, the bonding takes place, A, you have a personal rapport, you know the person can be your friend, but the bonding also comes from sharing of ideas, from a shared vision. And I think that uh, both uh, Prime Minister Modi and uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, they had this vision of what message they want to give their people, that we are, we may be different, we have different nationalities, we have different religions, but our values are the same and all religions have the same message of brotherhood and friendship and the beautiful temple that will be inaugurated tomorrow is a big symbol of this you know it, it's incredible that you should have had such a beautiful beautifully carved uh, temple reflecting the millennia old civilizational relationship between the gulf and india gulf region and india this is another important message that in the 21st century we are renewing something which was there millennia ago where oh, you know absolutely. arab daos would come to india for trade and so on and it's the indian middle east corridor project is really a revival of that traditional relationship so whether it is religion civilizational values trade economic cooperation we want our people to have the same mindset believing in sarva dharma sambhav believing that the whole world is one family and really implementing that belief uh, through these trade messages. You know, UAE is looking very much beyond uh, the fossil fuel era of the world, and they're looking at a post-fossil fuel era, and they think India is a very good place for investing. The people of India, there are, you know, close to 4 million uh, Indians living in the UAE, and they're valued there. They're valued, for their, they're valued for their contribution, their sincerity, their work ethic, and all this is reflected. 